Sailwind today. Um, I've didn't done some few editings to make sure everything works. We are now in the uh, second beta, and that should uh, so far everything been working all right. I haven't had any major issues switching over to the new beta version, even though we have this uh, our main game save right here. So I just purchased the uh, the new one, fantastic. Uh, not automatic. <laughs> it tells speed when we get to sailing, so it'll be interesting to see what we can uh, what we can do. So we have a barrel of water on board, almost empty. We have an extra barrel of water up front, so we will need some food and some trade goods to start. See if we can't make some real money. So we have just over. 3,300 gold. First of all, we will need to buy some food. We'll take a crate of tuna for food. It should last us quite fine. We have 16 tunas, so that should be enough. Let's see if we can put it down somewhere here behind without. Oh, that was the food. Wonderful. Um, we also have some new sounds in the game. We can hear that once we're out on, on the open sea. So, first of all, we will have a look and see what we can do for trade goods. 
I know there's a quick way of actually um, selling straight across here, um, but that's a bit cheesy, I think. So we, I think we'll try and we can't do some grain today and see why we can uh, we can't make a small profit out of it. Uh, we'll also, of course, have to figure out where we're going to sail to. We'll have a look at the map in just a short moment when we have loaded our boat with as much cargo as we can possibly fit into it. And since this is the small one, it's <laughs> it's not a lot. So two crates. Um, we have food, we have water, two crates of grain. I think we can manage three crates of grain. That should be able to do it for us without any big issues. Let's hope we don't <laughs> end up having it thrown overboard. So can we maybe do something like that? Yeah. It's not the prettiest way of putting it. So can we maybe both do that? Ah, much better. Let's have a look at our map. So we are currently at Cold Rock City. Um, and I think we will try and do a small trip down to Neverdean and see if we can't sell this grain. Oh, and there's a storm brewing I hear. Oh, that is wonderful. And we have the wind straight at us. So this will be interesting to see if we can't, um, if we can get out of the uh, the harbor. So also just have a quick look at the compass. And uh, Neverdean is down here to the south west. So we need to go this way. So, let's start by doing that and locking the wheel. And uh, we are moving backwards, so it might be a good idea to do something like that. And then let out a bit of the sail. Oh, and we are getting hungry. I did not notice that. So, let's eat a bit of tuna. That should keep us. Yeah, it's not the uh, the best, like so. Can I push you, or do I need to jump in the water? I need to jump into the water to get you pushed. Pushing, 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 pushing. And we are pushing a bit more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Much better. Yes, and uh, so, so far we have to remember the fact that we do not need to worry about balance um, when we're loading the boats. So it's just the, the max cargo age is just added to the ship. Oh, and we are leaning. quite significantly but that usually isn't that big of a problem so let's just adjust our sails a little bit like so and now that we are getting out of the harbor we can have a small look at the uh, let's see What's our current speed? Oh, eight knots. That is not bad. So let's just be careful, not 
run around. I know this is a bit cheaty using the third person camera, but it makes a bit more scenic. Especially when you have the sail across like that. Um, yeah, and we have the funny square waves when we leave the junk for the islands. Oop. No, no. We do not want to run around. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> oh. Well, that was interesting. I did not plan on that. Oh, we are moving quite along. Eight knots, that's not a bad speed to be at. I actually think we can let out a bit more sail, like that. Yes. Now we are rocking. So, we don't have any missions current missions we haven't done anything um all time <laughs> yeah bulk goods was the ex expensive one of this um tools and supplies food and general is actually is the big money drain especially you in the beginning um when you can't buy the big the good trade goods and do the uh, cross ocean crossings um, we might actually tr today try and see if we can't stock up on food at Neverdean and then try and see if we can take this small ship um, and run back to Gold Rock with it which isn't a problem at all um, purchase the ocean chart stock up on food and water and try and see if we can go to Fort Austrian actually that might not be a bad idea we, we might do it uh, through this live stream depending on how how, how long uh, we'll be streaming for today um, but other than that I really think it could be a fun thing, fun challenge to, to stream and see uh, if we make it <laughs> or we crash and burn in the attempt. So let's see. It's west, southwest, southwesterly? Yeah. I have, of course, also uh, purchased the uh, quadrant uh, in advance to measure our position once we get to turn out a bit more sail. Let's have a look at the speed, and and you toss it out by holding the right click. Six knots. Hmm, not as fast as I would expect, actually. Maybe I turned, tacked the sail a bit too, oh yeah, the wind changed. <laughs> that would explain why. So we will just wind in the sail again, like so. I usually have the uh, rule of thumb that when you let out the, you just try and do this, let it out like this, and then when you wheel in, you can see it goes fast or faster. Once you get to the point where it goes really slow because it's actually grabbing the wind, I usually pull it in for a few extra seconds and then let go. And that usually gives 
decent enough speed. Oh, it's slowing down again. Well, that's, yeah, the wind's changing. As you can see, now, now we're catching the wind again. <laughs> and that explains why we want to go southwest. We've been turned around a bit. So we'll do this again. Make sure we're on the correct course. Do something like that. The more westerly wind. And let out the sail and then toss it back in. We would actually be able to, uh, just a bit too much. And there we go. So. We would like to start, uh, if we have to do, we have to plan ahead for the cross ocean voyage in this little boat so we will need at least three barrel full barrels of water um two crates of fish a crate of fishing hooks and a fishing rod of course that i would say that would be a bare minimum for ocean crossing uh especially in the small here um it's easily doable in the big um And, and fishing is a way of keeping yourself sane. So I have, have a little island right out there in the horizon. My first instinct is that based on the way we're going, I would say we're heading towards Lion's Fang. Yeah, something like that. I really wish we had something like a protractor or and ruler, so we could do triangulation. It might come at some point, but we don't have it just yet, which is a bit sad, but it is what it is. It's an early access game. The dev is very attentive and uh, active on the Discord and takes notes and is very active talking to the community. And the likes and he he listens to advice and a very nice community over there people are very helpful um i'll draw i can drop you a link in the uh in the chat in a minute for to the community discord you can also look the, up the game on steam And you would find links to the community discord over there. And if you look at the game and go, ah, I'm not sure is there much to do. Well, you sail and you trade and, and it's a very relaxing game actually. Um, but uh, jump over to the, uh, to the Sailwind uh, discord. Um, have a chat with people. You can find myself there as well. Um, together with the good handful of other community contributors they've made guides and everything so you should be able to find all the answers you could possibly hope for there you can also ask here in the ch in chat if you if you wish There, and I can reach my hammock as well. Yeah, but a spy glass would be nice as well. Actually, to do get a bit higher, so we can see in the, that right there in the in the distance. I am pretty sure that would be lion's fang. 
but we'll have to see. And if it if we get closer and we can see that it, it's Lion's Fang, then it's very simple. You just turn to the northwest and tack up to Neverdean. Um, it's one of the the ways to navigate is knowing the outlines of the islands, and it comes with experience in playing the game. Gold rock we have there at our stern, I believe it is. Aft. Sorry, aft. The back end of the ship. The ass of the ship. Um, and it's, it's quite a large island large island so it's quite easy to spot even from a, a quite a distance away and it's getting night time so that means that once again I will I do this every stream um, I'll just show you where the North Star are and how to roughly figure out what time of night it is. So you have an idea how long it is to, to sun up. Um, there's a really nice uh, tutorial with graphics <laughs> on YouTube, which you can look up as well. By polar bear. He he explains it in a bit greater detail than I would. I will. I'll just roughly point it out and say that's it. That's how you do it. He has pictures and everything, so it's a bit easier to We have one little island there and also one in the distance up with the sun you just barely spot it right over there that's a bit difficult to see yeah i'm i'm unfortunately only streaming in uh 720p um my internet connection at the moment is a bit crap so I'm waiting for an upgrade so until then it will unfortunately be 780p 60 frames per second but hopefully within the next couple of months I will have a new internet connection which is far superior and we will of course be start streaming in 1080p 60 frames But it is what it is. I can't do much about it right now. And we are starting to turn the sheet a bit slower. Let's do that. Make sure that we and that definitely looks like Lion Fang. But we'll we'll have a look at it. Let's get something to drink. So, and a bit sweet. Yeah, we'll take one more. Wonderful. And the stars are coming out as well. Wonderful, wonderful. And of course, we have a uh, little light in our boat. 
There's unfortunately still no way of actually refilling the lanterns, so you can sell the spent lantern back to the uh, traders and then buy a new one. Then you buy the new one at a basically half price, more or less. And that definitely looks like Lion's Fang. So, new routine should be about there. But let's move a bit closer. Maybe more up for the night at Lion's Fang, and then continue setting off at the daylight. So, well, let's see if we can't see the... Right there. That constellation right in the middle. That is the so-called Scorpion's Tail, and it basically shows you where the North Star are. It's the one right in the middle, right there. I usually do that, I hold the just under, and then I do this. And then you can see your latitude, which in this case is 30, or thereabouts. It is not the most precise instrument in the world, but it uh, gets your job done. It gets your rough estimates of where you are. Um, other to note is the two stars right there. At the end of the scorpion's tail. That is a really good way of actually telling time. You can see it's just gone dark and it's going upwards. Um, once it moves and it moves around the North Star. The North Star is always fixed. All the stars move around it. So, when that tail end is more to that side, it's closer to midnight. And when it's more downwards, you're past midnight and on your way to sunup. He's made a gorgeous night sky, if you ask me. And we're nearing us the island. It's a bit dark. Let's turn on the lantern so we don't trip over. <laughs> and it is a gorgeous, uh, it's a gorgeous game. I really like the aesthetics of it. Yeah, and that's definitely Lion's Fang. So we have never been in that direction. I don't know why, but I always end up sailing too far south when I'm going to Neverdean for some reason. Well, we could change course actually already and then sail through the night. But I'm always a bit um, careful sailing and sleeping at the same time. Um, <laughs> I have way too many times been sleeping and then to finding out that uh, I've already passed it and have to turn the other way around which is a bit annoying so as we are nearing ourselves the island here we will pull up the sheet a bit like so, so we don't have that much speed. I think actually we will just pull it all the way up. Boom, like that. And... Drop 
the anchor. And that sound you can hear is the anchor hitting the uh, the seabed. So it's being dragged a bit, but it will make sure that we we stay roughly in place. And then let's take a nap. Yeah, um, don't think too much about the uh, the flickering. Uh, it's with the beta for some reason. Um, and it's a bit annoying, so so I should maybe have been a put a warning on if uh, any of you were suffering from epilepsy. But you will see it blink every time we go into uh, to have to have a sleep. So let's just wait the first sleep cycle out, and then I can show you the constellation and indicate uh, how the right. As you can see, we are nicely moored, and you can see we we are past midnight now. It's more the tail is more downwards, so a small sea sleep cycle once more should do the trick, and then it should be daytime. And once again, if you enjoy and like what you see, you're always welcome to do constructive criticism in chat. I also have a suggestion box. And and of course, do drop a follow if you if you like what you see. I much appreciate that. Um, it also helps to get the game out to, to more people. Which is kind of what we want. <laughs> As you can see, we go down the water, you can see that uh, we have the anchor here. And here you, have, you can hear the sound of the anchor on the bottom. So, let's get the anchor raised like so and then uh, let's get to move on and that's almost northwest so that will be the direction that we need to sail in did I just drop my Yes, I did. <laughs> I, I still do that. It's a bit annoying. But. So. Let's head on to Neverdean. There isn't much wind today. It's almost... still so let's let out as much of the sail as we can like a so yes let's see have another drink have another bite Tuna isn't the uh, the best f food source. A fish generally isn't the best food source. Um, goat's cheese is really good. Um, meats. Uh, lamb I've found is actually the uh, the best source of nutrition. And we have gold rock. Or for starboard bow. So let's get moving. We could use a bit more wind, please. That would be nice. I do not think we are going particularly fast. No. 
just over four knots, which isn't much. I'll just do a. I usually keep the uh, compass in the middle, so when I'm at the helm, I can just open. I have the compass right there. That is what I prefer. You can also pop it out like this. I just prefer to do it that way. Goodbye, Lion's Fang. It's one of the easy recognizable because it only have one tall peak. Um, and it's uninhabited, there's nothing on it. Ah, trust me, I've looked. <laughs> also one of the, uh, the things that have been suggested on, on the Discord is to have lighthouses on the the big main island, or the capital island, call it what you will. Um, so, some of the uh, the capitals have a a somewhat tricky entrance, <laughs> um, but we are in Alak, so it's the easy starter region. So let's hope that we can uh, get this sold for a decent profit. Uh, let's see, daily logs. Yes, as you can see, uh, we bought some food on day 23 and bought grain in this case for 2,484. Preferably we will make more than that. Preferably. <laughs> well, we should... If I hadn't... If I had been steering a bit more westerly, we would have been at Neverdean yesterday, before we went to sleep. But for some reason, I always end up steering for Lion's Fang, for some reason. I'm not quite sure why, though. It's just, it's just the way it is. It's a it's a very tranquil game, and not much is happening um, at this at this time. We have barely any wind. The sea is completely calm, and we are chucking along at a snail's pace of four knots. Um, which isn't fast at all. We would like to do in between six and eight knots. But such is life at sea. Especially when you're dependent on wind. You can't really decide. But we've been lucky so far. We've had the wind in from the sides or from the rear. So we haven't had any need to, to tack too much. You should perhaps consider buying a broom as well, cleaning the boat. <laughs> and there we have it. Right there. That is our destination with our grain. And hopefully a nice profit as well.
and I just realized we've been streaming for 40 minutes now and I hadn't turned the game sounds on into the stream my bad oops <laughs> that was not on purpose trust me so I've just been chatting and you haven't been able to hear only me and not the game sounds <laughs> uh, what a screw up Well, now you should be able to hear everything just fine. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering why at the thought the game was very quiet. Couldn't hear my uh, footsteps. I still don't have any feet. around four knots. Could try and turn the sail so we have a bigger end on this side. Oh, let's do it. Might be a, might be a try. Five knots. Well, it's faster at least, <laughs> which means we just might make it to Neverdeen before nightfall. Again. Oh, and we'll have a look at the map, and you can see we have. Lion's Frank, that's where we'll be anchored for the night. Now we're heading to Neverdeen. And hopefully a profit in the end. I haven't taken any missions. Um, I've only trade cargo. Three crates of grain. So let's hope it's worth the... Uh, It should have been a, a one day trip, but it ended up being two because we sailed a bit too far to the south. Which is my bad. I always, uh, for some reason I always end up steering towards Lion's Fang and then going across to Neverdeen. Technically I could also just go 
almost straight west to the, towards the island. Clear mind. Once that's sp spotted, then turn to the southwest. Um, well, it is what it is. And there we have it. Never deal. And by the looks of it, with a bit of time to spare. So we just might be able to sell the cargo. Once we get there already. Um, but depending on the time of day, usually it's actually better to sell in the morning. Prices are higher. There's a bit of boats out here. Am I actually getting completely lost here? I do not think so. Oh, well, let's figure it out. It's been a few days since I've played last, so it might be. Out here, that's nice. I actually think that the dock is on the opposite side. Oh, let's continue this way. The dock is definitely on the other side of that island.
success. We found the dog. And we have arrived. Let's hope we have enough momentum to actually make it to the dock. Well, we have to let out some a bit more sail, perhaps. Yeah. Or we can use the bungees. Yeah, it's definitely been better now. Not uh, the sea doesn't feel as soupy as it uh, once did. Where you would, as soon as you took the sail up, you would just go. Nope. Yep. Oh, that was... That was great. <laughs> Try that again, shall we? Good thing we have bungee mooring lines. There we go. Just as the sun sets. Let's have something to drink. And then eat. And then take a sleep. And then sell our Well hello Emma. <laughs> Oh, you're doing. Ah, yeah. good choice. I should actually have something to eat.
So, let's see. Mm, almost sun up. Trade stalls. They're not here yet. So, only these guys. They're always up. They never sleep. <laughs> Ooh. Some kind of weird whale fishy thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, at one of the big cities, um, you can actually buy paintings. And once you upgrade to one of the bigger ships with an actual cabin <laughs> um, you will be able to hang the paintings just staring at the, the in-game clock <laughs> that constellation right there um, that right there is the North Star and that's always fixed and all the other stars are revolving counterclockwise around that so on that there is used to tell time so it's almost all the way down to the horizon so we are nearing sunrise and once it, if it goes that way it's about midnight and when it's upwards it's just sundown just turned dark yeah and this is a quadrant it used to give you the your coordinates so I have an idea where you are. But this one's only good for your longitude. No one tells you the longitude. So you have to try and guess your latitude. But you can you have you have a uh, an instrument called a chronometer. I can you can do that with And the sun is rising. You see, it's getting lighter and lighter. More and more bright. Call it what it will. Nah, can't speak today. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. That island right there, that's the capital island of this little area, El Ankh. And we are currently at Neverdeen. So, we s sailed from Gold Rock to Neverdeen. So, once the traders merchants open we can try and see if we can't sell our goods no don't fall through the island <laughs> it's an early access game so weird stuff happens sometime The best so far I've seen is where I was in the escape menu, the pause menu. <laughs> and when I unpaused the game, I was flung several hundred feet up into the air with my ship, cargo all over. <laughs> yeah. 
But I got to see a nice top-down view of the game world. <laughs> yeah, there's no full damage in this game. The ships can't take damage yet either, so... But you can lose cargo, and, and that costs money. And while we wait for them to open, we can go exploring a little bit. Uh, yes. Make money, upgrade to bigger ships. There's currently six ships in the game. Uh, three starter ships and three upgrades. Or bigger ships. Within each region. There's three regions. We are in El Ankh at the moment. Um, which is the easy starter region and then we have Emerald and Austrian and each region has a starter ship and then an upgrade ship and this is the the L Ank starter ship small Dow, I believe this type of ship is called and it's Middle Eastern inspired in its rigging and hull shape yeah it is um, and at the <laughs> And then we have uh, Emerald is um, Asian inspired, so you would have like Yonks. And Austrian is more European inspired, where you have a cork and a brick. Come on! Thank you! And we can sell it for 900, so isn't the biggest profit. But that helped a little bit. Let's see, daily logs. So we sold it for 2700 and we bought it for 2484, so yeah. not best profit in the world. But they do sell bananas here as well. So we can tr take that back to Gold Rock perhaps. We're going to buy lanterns, firewood, a broom, and a uh, fishing rod so we can fish. And a bunch of folks. And of course, a compass. But let's see what we have for missions back to Gold Rock. Dates back to Gold Rock. Um, and coconuts. And rum. I only think that I can do I can do four missions. So I get an eight percent discount when I buy gold goods and a twenty percent on the retail. So we can do that one and that one. <laughs> yeah, rum and that one. And then we have the, uh, have to stack it on the boat somehow. Some rum. And we'll take gold. Like so. <laughs> yes. 
it wasn't because the bloody thing was copyrighted. I might do. But it is. Come on. Talking about Tetris. Day. I know I'm getting hung. Busty and hungry as well. I don't need to be able to reach the anchor. Get a bit. Greek. That's empty. You can sell empty barrels, which is nice. Wonderful price of 25, and then we can pick off water for 110. We have lots of tuna. Push you. The eternal problem with a headwind. They're just having a quiet conversation. And to absolutely no one's surprise, we need to go there, and that's 
the direction the wind's coming from. Mm. Now, then there needs to be a bit more um, to do while you sail. Because mostly it's just this. <laughs> Watching the wind, adjusting the sails. Having a look at the compass, making sure you're sailing the, the correct direction. Um, tacking. So we're moving. We want to go that way, but we can't because that's the way the wind's coming from. So we will be sailing. <laughs> oh, you get seasick. Motion sick. Yes, yes. We call it seasick. <laughs> or car sick, depending on if you are on a boat, ship, or in a car. Yeah, but it's just. General motion sickness. <laughs> and bus. Oh, great. Uh, well, the good thing is that it, this, it's not storming right now, so the water's really calm, so there's not, not that much motion. Oh, don't worry, it could get much worse. We could get into a storm and then we have massive waves. Water coming in over the railing and everything. <laughs> Fun times. Coconut and rum. Cork. Mm -hmm. yep. well, overall, so far, we have a total of 47,142. <laughs> Which is instantly a hundred less. Right, we actually have because you start with a hundred gold.
wonder how fast we're going. Whee! Yeet! Round six knots. Not bad. Okay, we have a bit more a bit more motion of the water now. It's still fairly calm. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, congratulations to uh, Kaylee. I could imagine. Ah, she's worked hard for it as well. So masters next year. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. Criminology. What? Oh, you're planning to be a detective or something? Should join the army and just be an MP. <laughs> okay. still coming to wreck but there so we have to continue moving on to the other side. <laughs> How are you doing, mate? <laughs> oh. Mina turned 49 two days ago, as you might be well aware of. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 
two days ago. you might. Seven, six, seven knots. Not bad. More speed. I'm planning a uh, quite interesting uh, run de road from Goldbrook and to Fort Austrian in this little bugger of a boat. Hello. Quite fine, thank you. We're just doing a little trip from Neverdean to Coldrock and then planning on a very interesting little adventure further down the line. Doing a cross ocean voyage in this little dinghy. <laughs> Interesting adventure.
It's just, I got the quarters and everything. Just need to purchase the supplies, a fishing rod, some hooks, and the ocean map, and then I'm good to go. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not planning on falling overboard, so... Ah, congrats on your 30 subscribers, Joe. Spotted it yesterday. I can't see a bloody thing. I'm getting tired now as well. Oh, let's pull up the sheet. And take it up and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the only annoying thing I with the uh, the beta so far is that that things going crazy like that. Highly annoying. I bloody can't see a 
Sim. It's over there, somewhere. See, uh, see the outline. Oh, let's give it another go. Ugh. Hearing sunrise. And my phone is not completely filled with water. That's nice. And we can do another sleep cycle. And watch out for the freaking out. Hey, that's always funny when that happens.
Should I be worried? Nah. It's fine. He's still right there. It's a bit windy. This is good for motion sickness. <laughs> Thank you, D-Roy. Hey, you too, mate.
inside. This is interesting seating. <laughs> we have passing the storm right out there, so we're getting a bit of some waves. <laughs> anyway, I push to go up. Well, but we've managed to keep the boat afloat so far. <laughs> Which is always nice. Game sound getting a bit too loud. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, it's a bit. It gets a bit louder in the storms. <laughs> Talk louder. Yeah. <laughs> that would do it as well. Uh, the, the, the game sounds gets somewhat louder in, in the storms. Uh, I should have a filter that should lower the game sound if it gets too high. Uh, apparently it doesn't work. Right now, anyways. <laughs> I just turn turn the game volume down a bit. That was a nice wave. <laughs> Nice. I'll definitely be watching. <laughs> Managed to talk him into it all. Turning me into a regular gamer. <laughs> I'll always blame Bob.
you seem right along here. Let's just set full sails up the west. Okay, that was maybe a bit too optimistic. Ah well. Always blame Bob. What happened? Don't know, but it's Bob's fault. Go. <laughs> <Yep. I'm, th I'm thinking about hiring a, uh, a logo designer and doing, making it a bit more sci-fi space suity thingy. But they are. <laughs> Muppets go to space. <laughs> Oh, that's true. I am truly sorry, I will not do that. Yeah, I just need someone who can draw to do that then. My, my general drawing skills are that of a three-year-old. And we have reached calm waters. Wonderful. Well, bloody well should be calm where it's inside the bay. Oh look! <laughs> I am now so famous on TikTok I'm getting spam robots <laughs> throwing ads in my streams. Wonderful.
little ship over there. Yes. <laughs> Once you get bots, you're famous. <laughs> Everybody knows that. That's how you get famous on on Twitch. You get bots. ship from this one. Bungie mooring lines. Mooring lines, they work like rubbers. <laughs> And they can become infinitely long, <laughs> which is also very interesting. But yes, this is the uh, whoop. the next upgrade ship. But we we need a bit of money to get this. And it's a it's a fair bit larger, as you can see. We even have a. Uh, Small cabin and cargo area, so it's a it's a it's a good little ship. Well, it's not little, but well, let's get to handing these in. <laughs> More Tetris fun, yes. <laughs> Delivered coconuts. Oh yeah, so, so some of the uh, the ships are really uh, quite necessary to be able to Tetris these uh, boxes and crates and barrels. Um, I do wish we were able to rotate them, rotate them the other way around also, so we. Kind of kind of wrote them th this way, so but, but nice to be able to do it the other way as well. That would be nice. Rum. Why is the rum always gone? <laughs> And the last box. Where's the box? There's the box. Give me the box. <laughs> and the log. Current missions. We can now do five missions and we get 12% discount on trade goods and 30% retail. Not bad. And a total of 522. But, um, we need more. Unfortunately, there isn't really a fantastic good uh, trade goods in our link. Uh, 
unlike um, emerald where you have tea and austrian where you have copper and iron and stuff like that as well. Yeah, let's just continue sleeping. and it's still in the middle of the night <laughs> so we will just have to sit and wait oh and we have a new full release of Silent hey, point 12 has been released I'm on the beta branch at the moment so let's see we have Some bug fixes is fixed incorrectly tilling to adjust sales. That's an annoying one. The moon now uh, obscures stars. It didn't before, that was kind of weird. <laughs> um, balance changes. Increase the spawn time of items in shops. Wind sounds has been adjusted. Been a bit more quieter. Yeah, pushing boats is not as powerful anymore. Wonderful. Do 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 do. And the first person camera and the third person camera rotates independently. That was a thing. That was highly annoying. So if I were looking straight ahead like this sometimes, and, and, and you were looking, and then you would be looking up from underwater. That was very annoying. The ladders. <laughs> the the big Austrian ship didn't have ladders, so if you were to fall off it, um, you, you couldn't get on it again. That was quite hilarious, very frustrating as well. So you so if you fell off the the ship, there was no way of getting on get on it again. So that was. Fun times. So sometimes you had to try and glitch on board because you could glitch through the uh, the hull. Sometimes if you did it right. <laughs> well, they've added the ladders now, so now we can get on board. <laughs> 
he it's a it's a one man development team so he's doing everything himself and it's getting daytime Then we can actually see what we're doing. Give me all the tuna. Some of the merchants are still here, even though there's no nothing on the tables. And then some of the stalls have no merchants and no wares. Which is a bit weird, but <laughs> it is what it is. Come along, open, open, open. <laughs> so we can sell the last of our stuff. Or that crate, get some more food. We can sell this half empty barrel, and buy a fresh one. We have one up, out in front as well, so. Yeah, see you, Ray. See you, D-Roy. Have a good one, mate. And once again, the wind is straight at the boat, so we'll have to push it. Unfortunately, you can't, you can't crouch, so you can't reach the the boat when you're on this large stock. Which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Oh, while we're waiting for daytime and daylight and everything, I will take a short 5 to 10 minute break and eat something to drink and eat, and then we'll be back and prepare for our attempt at a cross ocean voyage in the small starter ship. So, we will be right back in a few moments. Wait for you, wait for me, wait for you, wait for me. 
I want to know your secrets I want to be your lifeline So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me Tell me you're more than just a highlight Pretty pictures on the outside I hate to stare at you through these lights So I wait for you, wait for me Wait for you, wait for me. Click and scroll, I can't let you go. They say I'm addicted to you. Click and scroll, I can't let you go. They say I'm addicted to you. Oh, oh, they say love, no. And we are I just need to get something to drink and something to eat as well. <laughs> Thank you. So. We need to plan a bit ahead. 
because we need water and we'll need food for the voyage and we'll need a new lantern as well because this is getting empty so we'll sell it buy a new lantern we will need a crate of fishing hooks yes oh interesting the joys of early access <laughs> so but we'll need a new lantern <laughs> yes, was trying to sell it, and you are about half empty, so we'll sell you too and get some fresh barrels of water. Do you want to buy it? No. Nope. Do you want to buy it? What about you? Yes. Water. So, we'll need at least three barrels of water and two crates of food. At the minimum. For this voyage to be anywhere near successful so we don't die of thirst or hunger. Which is quite plausible, actually. <laughs> We will also need to buy a map of the ocean, so we can see, have an, a rough idea of where we are. Because we only have the quadrant, and that will, that's firewood, new fishing, hello, yep, a crate of 40 fishing hooks. Reach the no, I cannot. Then we'll do a bit. Is that possible? No, then we'll just stuff you out here. Thank you. But then I can reach the hammock when I need to sleep. So we have the. We have water, we have fishing hooks, we need the fishing rod as well, and food. So, an empty crate of two, so, thank you, so, uh, northern fish, north fish, coconuts we can't eat, uh, sunspots, I wish we could buy crates of um, lamb, because it's really good food, um, but can't, so, we will be living off of Dave. The 16. That's not nearly enough, so we'll need more. But the crates don't take up too much space. So we'll have two crates of them. I think a crate of tuna or some other kind of fish might be beneficial as well. So, we are preparing the epic voyage <laughs> across the ocean in a small starter ship. What could possibly go wrong? everything but don't, don't tell people that <laughs> so we have a bit of a choice of where to go actually to know they water fishing hook more water And then we'll need the map. And I need to dump some of this. Hey. So, 
we have the map and we can place it somewhere. Let's see. I'm gonna place it somewhere. A second. Let's put it there. <laughs> yeah, why not? And we can place this. We'll just drop there. A fishing rod. Thank you. And the map of the ocean. And we are, of course, down there in the lower left hand corner in Alang. And we can try and sail to either Emerald or Austrian. Um, the shortest trip would be <laughs> to Emerald. Um, and most likely also the safest because we can't technically navigate um, as much as we like because I not sh we don't have enough for the uh, Corona compass which will tell us the both exactly on the map where we are both directions longitude and latitude Whereas we have the quadrant, and that only tells us our latitude, which is the lines on the y-axis. <laughs> so, if we are sailing across, we will have no way of knowing how far to the east or west of Austrian we are, we can only tell our latitude. So I think the most, the safest bet for starters would be to sail to Emerald. And hope for the best, because we basically just know we have to sail east to get there. So. I think we have a bit more room in the boat so we will take some grain with us just just to sell so it's not a complete waste of time just sailing there for the for the fact that we can or maybe can it is unproven so far but we'll we'll hope for the best so we'll take two crates with us yes <laughs> So we don't encounter any sea monsters on the way. Whoop. Come on. Wait. Stop that. Boom. Yeah. Time is a wasting. Let's get a move on. And of course, we have the wind straight. Well, at least we know we just have to sail straight east. Like so. Hey, coming up. Let's get out of the harbor and get on our merry way on this cross ocean in a starter ship voyage adventure. <laughs> we have three bells of order, three bells of crates of food, two barrels of trade goods, fishing hooks, fishing rod, map got everything
Good morning. You are just joining us as we are starting our epic adventure by sailing across the big ocean in a little dinghy, <laughs> basically. Would either be a glorious most productive adventure or we will <laughs> drown and die in the tent. Six knots. That's very nice. Leaving our home down here at Alank and sailing towards Dragon Cliffs. Basically, just need to sail east. But we have our quadrant, so it, uh, we can measure to some degree of accuracy where we are. And welcome to any new viewers watching. Thank you for joining the adventure across the ocean today. Um, if you like what you see, please do, do remember to, <laughs> to hit that follow button with uh, it would be much appreciated. It helps out a lot. like yet at all. So we are still in uh, coastal waters, if you can say it like that. Well, we are doing in the ballpark of six knots, so we're doing quite alright with speed. Miles per hour? Oh, I have no idea what that's in miles per hour. But we can figure it out. It's around 7 miles per hour. 
6.9 To be more precise <laughs> yes! Well, that's the plan anyways. Did I just put myself in the irons? I did. Bloody hell. Because we'd like to go to the east, but the wind's coming from the east, we will be doing what is known as tacking. Meaning that we will go across one direction and then the other direction and then and then we'll continue doing that and trying to keep on the same track, so to speak. ocean voyage. <laughs> we might make it, we might not. Um, if we are lucky we will uh, avoid any major storms. But we'll have to have a look at it. a bit, uh, once you get out to the, the ocean you have to concentrate a little bit more to actually control the ship. And due to the waves will be bouncing you around and you don't want to take on too much water by being rolled by, by a wave. Right, well, we are. Um, it's survivable. <laughs> it's not it's not an easy trip, but uh, it's doable. So we are doing a trip from Alank to Emerald. And that's the, our goal for now. So we have three crates of food, three crates of water, a fishing rod and hooks, and then we steer east and hope for the best, <laughs> and try to avoid any major storms. But you have to be a bit more, more careful um, with, with how where you sail, sail your ship. Yes, I am very much about to find that. It's 
so let's see. Where did we go? The, the North Star, right there. Thank you. This is how you do measures. It requires that you are able to see the North Star. Right there. And it says 40. Which 40, 41. It's, it seems about right. But that's the extent of the uh, <laughs> accuracy of this instrument. My first time crossing the ocean in the starter. Okay, so all It's the first time I'm crossing the ocean in the uh, in the small starter dow, yes. I've done it with the uh, the two other starters. Um, I've never done it with this one, and it's absolutely the smallest of them, so <laughs> it'll be an interesting challenge. Time people need to sleep, and I, have, of course, have absolutely no stamina potions with me at all because I am that stupid. So, we'll refill the sail, make sure that the oh, bloody hell, there's a storm coming as well. Wonderful. Oh, well, let's see what happens. We need to sleep. So either this will work fantastic and everything will be fine, or we'll wake up with a ship full of water and need to recall. <laughs> oh, I can hear the thunder. But so far... I think they're that bad. We had to have some water in the boat, but I think I would worry too much of it. But I don't like the fact that we bring it to the storm on our first night. So, that's wonderful. Oh well. Let's. around with the waves. It's, it's the safest thing.
well, this is a bit more manageable. And the sun is rising. Wonderful. And with a bit of luck, the wind will change in our, in our favor. That would be nice. They, they are generally quite seaworthy, these, this kind of ship, so... As long as we are a bit careful, it should be perfectly doable. I'm keeping... Right up here, not dropping everything overboard. And well, depending on the wind, um, I would say you would take it be about between three to five, May maybe six in game days. That's a couple of hours. I don't think that we'll be able to do the entire journey in one city. Um, I can't anyways, um, but I'll be streaming for about an hour, half an hour more, one and a half hour, sorry, so, we'll keep going, we'll see how far we get. And I didn't bring alcohol with me, so, can't do the, uh, bit, bit cheaty part of just trying to sleep through most of the uh bobbity bobbity bob Fishy, fishy, fishy. This is how you keep saying doing these long trips. Ah. Oh well. So speed. speed unstable the waves, but around six knots. 
bad, not bad. Let's see if she can get that in. No, I could not put it in there. Thank you. So, while we are leaving Alank in an easterly direction, we'll try and try our hand on some fishing. So, for any of you who are joined us, thank you. We are currently trying to cross the ocean in one of the starter ships to be completely the smallest of the starter ships. And we are doing some fishing. And we have a fish. Raw fish. We can eat. It's called sushi. <laughs> so and that's basically how the uh, the fishing in this game works as well. Let's see. We still have a annoying headwind, but. Uh, with a bit of luck, we will we will make it to Emerald with any without too much issues. Yeah, let's give it four sails. What could possibly go wrong? Capsize and drown. Oh, well, you can't drown, but <laughs> well. 
to any of you new viewers, um, if, I could, if you like what you see and would like to see more of Sailor Wind as well, uh, please consider hitting the follow button on the channel. It will help me out greatly. Um, also check out my recommended channels on my on my channel as well. And have a look at uh, at those. That would be great. Thank you. And thank you, Kazur, for the follow. Much appreciated. Um, we're trying to get this game out to as many as possible. <laughs> so we can get it to be even better. can be quite addicting. <laughs> I'll give you that. Create a fishing hooks, three barrels of water, and I've stacked an extra crate of food in the front here as well. Um, to make sure <laughs> I can survive the, uh, the trip without dying of either thirst or hunger. Um, but did you have you done the uh, the easy start as well, Kasara? Yeah. Well, depending on how many uh, crates they want you to transport, you can. Yeah, y you can take um, one of the, uh, the bigger. Delivery missions. If you can get some, get one to Emerald. That's the best one. It's, it's the shortest route to take across ocean, and it will give you a buttload of money. Especially if you can get one that goes back again from Emerald to to Alang. Then two back and forth like that, and you will have enough money for the big ship. And then you can really start to break in money. Possibly because you can go to Austrian, Ford Austrian, you can start trading copper and iron. And that's where the, uh, the big money is. It's a good idea to have a decent feel on on the ship. You definitely need that, um, and also how much it weighs when you have loaded cargo in it, because they will behave slightly different. Slightly different.
the weather keeps like this, this will be wonderful. The wind might I'd like the wind to come from a bit of a different direction. But uh, if we can keep it like this and not get too many storms, that would be wonderful. Then it will be an easy crossing. <laughs> well, let's hope. Yeah, because the wind's coming from the east, so it's a bit... It's a bit me. But, uh, yeah. From Alank to Emerald. I hate when I do that. <laughs> for, for some reason I always end up like taking or doing something weird like that. And uh, we can still see Gold Rock. So we are not that far out yet. Tired. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Did I just put myself in the irons again? Almost. Yeah, now most definitely on our way. Because we are having ocean waves. <laughs> small ships that uh, you will splash down on the other side and take on water. It uh, drains out the itself. You, you, there's no manual way of taking water out of the boat. Just yet anyways. 
so you'll just, you'll just have to wait it out. So make sure you don't take on more water, and then it'll disappear by itself. But you can definitely, <laughs> yeah, bucket update. You're a small hand cranked pump or something like that. And we are getting tired. Before, so we will do. Each for doing a bit. The most important thing, do not mock the helm when you're doing this. Um, that's the surefire way of having your ship full of water when you wake up. Because this way, your boat can steer by itself. Yeah, this would just be a bucket. Um, for the larger ones, I would say absolutely some crank of some kind, yeah. That would do the trick. We have some water in the ship, <laughs> as you can see. But uh, I was expecting that, so we are moving more north than I would like. But that's why we need the, uh, the helm unlocked. <coughs> because if uh, we didn't, we would be absolutely miffed. So, we will leave the sail up. Just a bit more sail like that. And then we will just weather. You don't want to be sailing at uh, full speed in, in the darkness. Not in these small ones, because you can't see anything except for the small lights that you actually have on board. Um, there's not implemented any kind of uh, lighthouses in the game either. Now we are in the ocean, so it really isn't that applicable out here, but in the coast, coastal regions, um, it would be nice with the lighthouse. <laughs> I have more than than one thing. Uh, I can't hear anything. I can go to sleep and then I'll wake up half on top of an island. Because it's just Definitely do not want to go west, I want to go east.
just yeah I think I did this man in the islands wonderful Hydrate. Very take another nap and hope for the best <laughs> keeping fingers crossed Well, I got all train. And, um, yeah. Daylight soon. Caught it. Everyone, let's go. We are in the line, lane we want to be, so. We are on the way. It will be daylight soon. Pretty moon. We've got some crates with us to sell once we get to Emerald. Crates of day. Tuna. Barrels of water at the front as well. And of course, the current barrel we are using. Fishing rod, fishing hooks, quadrant, compass, map, fishing rod. So, everything for a cross ocean voyage.
And we're, we're not talking about that I was almost, almost dropped my quad into the water. We don't talk about that. <laughs> then we will be in a bit of a pickle. Yay, sunrise, so we'll be able to see something again. That's good. Full speed. I oh, like the wind to change a little bit. Oh, we can see the remnants of gold rock on the horizon. Adventures. <laughs> no, I'm 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 still not there. <laughs> we can still just spot gold rock on the horizon behind us. So uh, that needs to be completely gone before we start seeing effort.
we're doing a decent speed actually. So look, look. Seven knots. Between six and seven knots. That's not bad. That is one of the reasons why you have to be careful. Some of the waves out here, they get mighty big in these small boats. East directly. Last night when we checked, we were at latitude 31. So we are right on the money. Get to Dragon Cliffs. As long as we don't capsize. <laughs> Take on too much water, and everything should be fine. I do wish the wind would come from a different direction, preferably from behind. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Steady there, steady. Yeah, Th those waves are fun in this small one. Oh, oh no, you ready, Dungeon? That was all kinds of fun. <laughs> yeah, that was close. <laughs> that is why you have you have to. You have to steer your ship. <laughs> Especially with waves like that. And then up on the wave. Press the whoop. I am most definitely not trying to sink it. I'm trying very much to make sure that it doesn't sink. That is kind of the whole point. Oh, we have some lovely waves. This is the open ocean when <laughs> I start a ship. <laughs> Welcome to it. Well, at least it's in the storm. Oh, that near capsizing moment there, that's going straight into a highlight. <laughs> Uh, 
that is for sure. I don't fancy fishing right now. <laughs> I'd really like to actually steer. Because we are having some some waves to contend All kinds of fun. Anybody know a sea shanty? We could use one of those right now. <laughs> Preferably a uh, non-copyrighted version, so I don't get a strike. Right. Well, so far so good. Interesting once again. I hope it calms down a bit before night time, because that's going to be very interesting. Especially due to the fact that uh, <laughs> it's a bit difficult to control the ship um, when we can't see where the waves are coming from. There we go. Much better. Thank you. Are we allowed to make it or? <laughs> Die trying. <laughs> well, Puppies is known for being the smartest people. Or dogs. The people.
<laughs> Hello everyone line. Thank you for joining this stream, bro. Um yes. We 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 are we are crossing the ocean in, in the start of that. We're going from Gold Rock to Yes. We are, we are we are crossing the ocean <laughs> in the starter, which is um, interesting to say the least. Hey, this is all kinds of fun. And I can tell you they are way bigger when you're in the small one. Which I think is perfectly fine. It's the entire point of it. Um, but yeah, this is this is uh, me challenging myself to cross the ocean in the starter. I'm, I'm not running full sales either, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> oh, it, it is a challenge, that's that's for sure. We, we've been almost capsized two times, and one of them was a really close call. <laughs> And I'm now getting tired. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, it is. It is a bit faster. Oh, I'm planning to make it. Or oh, die trying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't do that. Thank you. Um, I don't think I've noticed anything unusual or like that with the. Uh, I like that you can when you get to the front of the ship that you can actually hit, hear the splashes. That's a nice touch. Mm. 
But no, I haven't I haven't anything un unusual as such. Um, the wind sounds might be a bit to the loud side, um, but that's just something you can. But that should. But that's the only thing I have actually. Is this? Is that the, the wind is perhaps a bit to the loud side? But other than that, no. Let's look up. <laughs> well, well, I'm doing a uh, testing for you then. Now the the trick is to ride the waves the correct way, because the, oh, they will capsize you <laughs> very easily. And uh, speed um, is also quite important. If you're if you're going too fast, you will plow into the waves instead of going over them and then you will just yeah fill the boat with water Yeah, it's calmed down a bit. That was nice.
let's do what I wish you do. And we have the paint go for the sleeping almost all the way up. Also in the boat. Nope. Wheel is unlocked. Very quick. Speed. Let's see which way we're going. We should be going around. Yeah. That should do it. Let's go to sleep and see what happens if we wake up in a wet grave. <laughs> yeah, that's the only weird thing I have, is that the sleepy bar is going crazy like that. Yeah, for me it is at least. Yep, still pretty much on the correct course. And we are getting roughly still wonderful. <laughs> uh, it, it comes with the territory. Well, I would say that for an early access type, this is remarkably stable. Because I haven't had a single crash to desktop. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. So any early access where I don't get crashed to desktops is a win in my book. It was very fine. Um, and I really think that's one of the things that also made people recommend it even more. Because, as you said yourself, usually when you have a early access release, most of the time it's not completely unplayable, but there is a lot of bugs that makes it so that progression is, you know, made poorly so you can't progress properly or progression stops and then there's been nothing here so, and we haven't had any crashes to desktops either. 
that's really been speaking in the game's favour. And Unity on the whole is a uh, rather stable platform. I haven't lost uh, a single boat to bugs or weird behavior in the game. I have lost boats to my own stupidity, but that's a different matter. Like, for instance, deciding to try and cross the ocean in the starter. <laughs> But, what can you do? When people start making suggestions, they're trying to get screensh screenshots of all the, uh, the starter ships together at one place. My brain starts... ...getting ideas. <laughs> So and um, so, one of the ways of doing that is to bring the starter boats all to the same place. Not sinking. That's that's a great suggestion. I'm trying not to. Um, I don't I don't plan on swimming, so I will take the small dow, bring this to Emerald, scrunch enough cash together, cash together in Emerald to buy the next. The, the upgrade, the big uh, yonk, and then sail that to Austrian, get the small, <laughs> get the cog and then sail it back. That's the plan. And the plan is that everything will be documented by live streams, and then I'll cut it into a uh, epic montage of bringing the starter ships to the same place. That's my plan, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, depending on what you mean with everything documented live stream. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Thank you.
might even do it that uh, I bring all the upgrade ships together as well. And then have everything placed at the uh, foot or something like that. <laughs> that could be fun. We'll have to figure out a way to do it. Because it would be nigh impossible to get all... If we can't tow any of the ships, then it would be difficult to bring the last one if we are to have everything in one place. Oh, we'll have to see. <laughs> yeah. Could try and do that, yes. I don't think so. Um, yeah, you would need to carry a water barrel. <laughs> yeah, one thing I would need to carry a water barrel with barrel with me. Um, but I think I will die from exhaustion before, actually. Even if I carried the water battle barrel with me, I, w I would die from exhaustion. I'll be pass out. Unless, of course, you, you cheesed it a little bit and... Uh, or directly cheated and locked your... Stamina, thirst, and hunger bars. But that wouldn't be fun. Cold work is practically gone now. When we can actually see it for the waves. <laughs> uh, just a little bit out in the horizon, but that's about it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but the water would be the difficult one. <laughs> yes.
Yeah, it's been uh, suggested before. Ocean crossing with one barrel and one crate. Hmm. Well, I'd say that. Uh, once I get all the uh, the starter ships together, I'm down for a uh, a barrel and a crate crossing. It should be doable. You have to be conservative with the water, that's for sure. Oh, the, uh, the crossing is going quite well, actually. Um, we've had a few close, close calls so far, but... Uh, yeah, we, we're on our way. Um, I've I've never seen it calm and flat. Um, I've seen it calmer than this, yes, um, but not calm as you would see in an ally or a movement. Um, I've I've never seen it completely flat calm. No. So yes, I think it's very rare. I mean, it's it's the ocean open. It's open ocean. Um, it shouldn't be completely flat. That would be weird. 
but I've seen it more calm than this. Taking on water. Of course it's pretty crazy, I decided to take the starter ship out. <laughs> you bloody oaths. Uh, well, the f before, you, before you joined, um, the very first uh, night we had, we had a bloody storm. So that was interesting. I could use some calmer weather, that would be nice, yes. <laughs> At least it is to get this bloody water out of my boat. <laughs> well, with this game I have nothing but bad luck. <laughs> drain out. That would be nice. Thank you. Bloody hell. Uh, made it. <laughs> no, stop doing that.
yes, they are. They are very scary. The problem is I, I need to, to to not be in the eye end because if I lose momentum I'll just get hammered by the waves. So it's uh it's a compromise of forward momentum <laughs> versus the uh getting hammered in the sides by the waves. I know it, this bloody storm. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that a storm slash tornado would be absolutely... I, I don't care. Storm, tornado. I'm in the starter ship. Have you seen my bathtub? Uh -oh. We'll need to weather this somehow. Try and try and see if we can't weather this somehow, but uh, I doubt it. To be honest. Oh, this is all the fun. Completely dead in the water. Thank you. Go on. I just need a bit of forward momentum again. And we should be able to do just something about it. Ever so slightly. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, we don't. Thank you. Yeah, a bit too much off wind. Thank you. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's because they're. Oh, that's a good one. When the boat starts flying, the Vikings start flying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Kazura. want to play <laughs> yeah you never know you never know <laughs> Yeah, well guys, it's time for that announcement again. If you like what you see, please do hit the uh, the follow button, that would be nice. And uh, give me some morale boost for this horrible storm I've entered. <laughs> uh, that would be much appreciated again. Thank you, Lion. That was much appreciated. It's 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 a bloody good game, but it's oh And now I'm getting tired as well. Again. Well that's sure not to fuck something up. Oh well. Let's see. We are in an east city, so we like to go. Stop doing that. I'd like to go into the room, thank you. That, that's why I'm, I'm I'm trying to see if I can't not sleep. I don't need things to be more difficult at the moment. <laughs>
Yes, I know I'm getting tired. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Thank you. That's just what I need. <laughs> yeah, and I've even turned it down. <laughs> there we go. That was a bit better. Now you can hear me as well. <laughs> Water in my boat. Very well try. Rip. Uh. Yep. Yeah, not completely, of course. Oh, no, you don't. Stop putting water inside my boat. Bloody hell, it's a simple instruction. No water inside the boat. Give it a try. Hope for the best <laughs> before I pass out uh, completely. Calm seas, or something to that effect. <laughs> Bloody hell, full speed ahead.
Yes! Finally! <laughs> Yeah, this is fine weather. Finally. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will just have to take this. I'm back again. Sorry about that. Um, I need to go. <laughs> that was the kindergarten for my child. They called. So they want me to come bring her home. So we will uh, end the stream a bit short, short today. Um, continue it Monday. <laughs> where we will continue with the adventure. And see if I can make it across the ocean in the starter ship. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for the follows. <laughs> thank you, Raw. Yeah. But, uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.